in size. If a file in your computer says 300K or 300KB, then that file is 300,000 bytes in size. If you're buying a new hard drive and one catches your eye that says 500GB, it means that the hard drive can store 500 billion bytes. But a hard drive which reads 1T or 1TB has twice as much space as a 500 gigabyte hard drive because it can store 1 trillion bytes. Everything in the computer world uses this system of measurement. Sometimes you will see the letters PS behind the capital letter. The PS stands for per second and so is used to describe how fast data is transferred. So for example, a computer file that is 1 megabyte will take 1 second to send if transferred at a speed of 1 megabyte per second. Large numbers of computer files are stored and organized into folders, which are also called directories. A computer's file system may be thought of as a tree, where the leaves represent computer files and the limbs represent the folders. Beginning at the base of a tree, an ant may crawl and eventually reach any leaf he wishes as long as he takes the correct path up the limbs of the tree. Equally, you may arrive at any file in your computer as long as you take the right path. The root of the computer's file system, which would represent the trunk of my metaphorical tree, is often called My Computer. The My Computer icon, which sometimes just says Computer, is often found on the desktop or in the Start button. The desktop is the background screen, which usually has a fancy picture and is populated with icons. It is important that you locate the My Computer icon before we continue. It may also be necessary to locate a button named Organize, from which you may make the menu bar visible. Also, if the extensions of files aren't visible in your My Computer window, go to Tools and Folder Options. In the View tab, you'll find Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Make sure this is unchecked. Upon clicking on the My Computer icon, you will see the list of drives attached to your computer. Each of these drives is represented by a letter, and the most frequently encountered drives are T, D, E, and F. The drive most relevant to us is the C drive. The C drive is our main focus because it allows access to the computer's primary hard drive. Other drives you will see in the My Computer window are recovery drives, CD and DVD drives, and other devices plugged into the computer. Often, when a camera or MP3 player, for instance, is plugged into the computer via a USB wire, the device will appear as a drive. Every drive is assigned a letter, and all the letters above C are usually devoted to extra internal hard drives, DVD players, and external devices like cameras. If we click on the C drive, which may be titled Local Disk, will see a set of folders with various files below them. The folders, which you will see at the top of the window, offer us a way to organize information. Imagine if every file on your computer were in the same place, on the same list. Finding pictures of last summer's vacation in the midst of thousands of files would be tedious. Fortunately, we have a way to organize our files so that our homework, music, and vacation photos can be in separate places. Inside of the folders, you will find files and other folders. Everyone has a different file structure on their computer, but of all the folders shown, program files, users, and windows are present in virtually all computers. Every file and folder has what is called a path. The first part of the path is the drive letter, followed by a colon. The second part is the folder path, and the third part is the file name. Here is an example file path. First you have the drive letter. The letter C tells us that the file is on the hard drive. The folder path indicates that the file we seek is in a folder called Windows and in another folder called System32. The third part of our example path shows us that the file's name is msconfig.exe. So, 
In order to find the file listed above, first open up my computer, then C drive, then open up the Windows folder, then the System32 folder, then locate the file msconfig.exe. As you can see, there are many other files in the System32 folder. The one we are looking for is named msconfig.exe. We will find it among all the other files whose names begin with M. If we open up the file's properties, we can see details regarding this file. First, it tells you that this file is an application, which is software like a spreadsheet or video game. Looking at the file's location, we see the drive letter and folder path we used. Below the file's location, we see the file size given in the notation explained previously, 222 KB or 222,000 bytes. And below, it says that this file was created January 20th, 2008. Let's try something else. I have a bunch of photos on my camera and want to view them. First, I plug the camera in. After doing so, I see the camera appear in the My Computer window listed as Removable Disk and was assigned the drive letter I. I go into the root folder of my camera, but don't find enough items to possibly be my photos. Instead I find a folder named DCIM, but after going into the DCIM folder, I still find no photos, only another folder named 100 Media. Ah, here are my photos. It's also worth noting that file names and path are not case sensitive. Files and folders can also be created, manipulated, and deleted by the user. First, let's create a folder. Go to My Computer, then C Drive, then go to File, then New, and then Folder. It will create a new folder and name it New Folder. You may also right click on an empty part of the My Computer window and select New and Folder. Folder names should not be too long, should include mainly letters and numbers, and should in some way describe the folder's content. Therefore, I should change new folder to something more descriptive of the folder's would-be content. So, let's rename it. Click on the newly created folder and go up to File and then Rename. Let's type Camera Photo. Entering the folder, predictably, we find no files or folders. Let's create another folder. After all, I don't want every photo this camera takes saved in the same place. I'll name this new folder Summer 2010. Ah, uh, here we are, the perfect place to store the photos from last summer. But the folder is empty and all the photos are still on the camera you say? Sure, but copying the files is easy. First, we open up another My Computer window. Then we find the I drive, because this is the drive assigned to my camera. From here, waltz through the camera's folders until we find my photos. If you left click on an empty point on the My Computer window and hold the mouse button, you'll notice a colored box is formed. This colored box can be used to select files. So let's select all of my photo files and go to Edit and Copy. This tells the computer that I'm preparing to copy the files I've just selected to another location. Now, I go to the folder that I created on my computer, the folder I made to store last summer's photos. I then go to Edit and Paste. If I wanted to remove the photos off my camera, I return to the window that's viewing my camera photos, and I once again select all the files. And go to File and then delete. There is even an easier way of copying and deleting the originals. By selecting the files in the same manner,